Hey guys, what's going on? Drewsy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video, and another new goth kid is going to be coming to South Park Phone Destroyer this coming weekend in the weekend event, and that of course is Michael. So Michael is finally coming, the second one. We had Ferkel a couple of weeks ago, and we have Michael now just in time for Halloween, or, Hall, or All Hallows Eve, or whatever you want to call it, spooks, whatever. So... <laughs> Michael is coming. He will be a three-cost rare card, a neutral theme as well. Remember, all the goth kids will be in the neutral theme. 220 base health, 35 base damage at level 1. And as you can see, his ability is just a standalone ability. It is not any kind of charge or war cry or anything like that. But Michael and all allied goth kids are immune to harmful spells. Now, the text in here is important. So harmful spells would be like poison, fireball, lightning bolt, so on and so forth, uh, unholy combustion, anything like that. However, useful spells will work with the goth kids. So like regeneration, hallelujah, will not be a negative effect against them. Also, uh, I believe that power bind wouldn't work against them, things like that. So any positive effect that has a healing component or a boost, a speed boost, right? So like hyperdrive would work still with the goth kids, things like that. So any positive that helps them will not work against them, but anything that works against them will not affect them. That makes sense, right? That wasn't confusing at all. But yeah, so Michael is going to be coming to the game again. Let's look at his stats real quick. As you can see for his stats, you see his base stats, his max level 1 stats. At max 7, 972 health, 157 attack. So not a ton of health, but remember he is a, he is a 3 cost, so he's going to be relatively cheap, which means you'll be able to cycle through to him relatively easily once all th four of these cards come out. And his stats seem pretty basic to me. I don't see anything super special about him. I don't see anything overwhelming about his overall stat base. Uh, you could argue that his health might be a little low, but again, it's a 3 cost fighter card. You're not expecting, you know, 1200 health or anything like that for that low of a cost. And again, his really only value is to stay on field and be able to make them immune to being harmed temporarily. So, obviously, I think like Michael will help Ferkel slightly, or Ferkel will obviously help Michael slightly. Also, Michael will be a card in the current Chaos Mode that's going to be coming out as well. So, you'll be able to test him out in Chaos Mode, like everybody else will be the 13th card. You won't have to add him to your deck. He will be defaultly in everyone's deck. So, you get to try Michael out. Uh, so obviously Furco might be played a little bit more in the this coming chaos mode, but there you go There is Michael's stats. There's what he looks like now. Let's see him in game Okay, right, so here we go with the goth kids all on screen again And we have Hen Henrietta up here in the front remember she's gonna be a tank Pete's right here Furkle's in the back and Michael will be summoned now This town's going to shit. So there you go to see Obviously the great voice line there from him as well as you saw the fireball in this situation doesn't affect the other goth kids and as you can see they also get some kind of purple kind of aura around them as well so you can kind of tell that michael is still alive so if you're say fighting against the goth kids uh, at a later date and you're wondering okay well uh, i wonder if michael's still alive and, and if these guys are still immune to all this stuff you won't be able to obviously see these purple shields on screen hardcore goth so they're showing that again. Yeah, no. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. harsh. Whoa. Moo, moo, ah. moo, moo, moo. Life is a series of disappointments. There you see Hallelujah working in their favor and boosting up Ferkel, who was near death at that time. Harry and I had taken a decent amount of damage. So you see the Hallelujah obviously affecting them in a positive way, oh, right? Yeah. So that would also mean situations like this, that program Stan, his freeze right here, wouldn't affect the goth kids, so they'd be able to get through it. So basically, they basically become kind of Tupperware, like four Tupperware units for the goth kids all at the same time. So th this situation of different immunities and things like that could be very interchangeable with the goth kids, being able to be played probably with superheroes fairly well in the fact that they could be able to you know do all those things and not really be obviously affected negatively by all these different spells and things like that it could be you're not gonna get hit by Solomon and wiped away they're not gonna get killed by satan so that's kind of interesting just to think that the goth kids can't be killed by satan just saying. and there you see with his just a straight up stats here you're kind of seeing him just in him just straight up by himself going up against a Benita Sally 
Yeah. Obviously, Sally at level four, but you see that Michael and Sally have about the same attack speed. So he doesn't have overwhelming attack speed here. It's pretty basic attack speed from the look of it. He has a maybe a slight increased range. It doesn't have a knockback or anything off his basic attack. So you don't see that what he's using to hit, which kind of looks like a cane. That it doesn't look like his cane or whatever is actually knocking back cool. anybody. Even though the animation looks at a second like the way he kind of winds up and hits. That he would knock somebody back. But it doesn't look like it does that either. So that's good to know. And uh, yeah. There's a first look at Michael guys. So we kind of see what his basic attack does. We see what the ability is. What are your thoughts and feelings on Michael as he's going to be coming out into the game again. This coming weekend event. So in a couple days from this video recording. You will be able to try him out in chaos mode in a couple of days. So there's that, but again, he will be full-fledged launched on Friday with the weekend event, and it will be a Halloween version of an event. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are excited about Michael, and we'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, guys, my name is Drewski.